Good morning, Holy Innocents, friends, family, uh, guests, visitors, anyone joining us. It is Wednesday, September the 2nd. Uh, so glad that you all are here. Can't believe it's September the 2nd, but here we are. Uh, Labor Day is, is quickly approaching. You know, I remember uh, when I was in school, we didn't start school until after, until after Labor Day. Um, and I think that, is, that has changed um, over, over the years and, and schools have started earlier and earlier and we have year round school. And of course with the pandemic, there are some schools that are not starting until after, after Labor Day. Uh, nonetheless, our, our kids are back. Good morning. Our kids are back at Holy Innocence School and um, it is a joy to see them. I, I have observed they are uh, wearing their mask and they are uh, in, in their classes and they are rehearsing with their instruments and just bringing a lot of life and vitality um, back to back to our, our campus as well. So we are we are pleased about about that. I um, hope everybody is having a, a, a wonderful morning so far. Just just so you know, it's it's going to be pretty hot today, <laughs> as it as it has been. Um, so so please stay hydrated and and stay safe. Uh, if you're going to get out and want to do any gar gardening, it's a, a good time to do it now uh, before that that heat starts to hit us about 11 o'clock or so. Um, Try to see. No new announcements. Church um, last Sunday. If you joined us, we did experience some some internet issues, um, which you know we just had no control over. But we certainly apologize for that. I understand it was hard to hear at, at some points, but we um, we haven't had any issues thus far this week, and, and certainly hope that on Sunday we won't. Um, we won't have those challenges as as well. Um, this morning, of uh, our readings, uh, we will have a psalm as usual, but our readings will come from the Acts of the Apostles and also from the from the Gospel of, of John. So if you have your, your Bible or if you just like to listen, that is fine as well. Welcome to, to folks who are just joining us. We're going to give it about another minute before we start our morning prayer, just to make sure folks have had a chance to um, get themselves situated and maybe grab a cup of tea or coffee um, for prayer this morning. Good morning, Paul. Let's see, what is today's the second? Okay, sort of, sort of hard to, to, uh, to keep up. I wonder if anyone has um, any Labor Day plans, maybe that last trip um, away from Atlanta. Um, if you do, um, please be safe in your travels. Good morning. Um, enjoy the outdoors, whether that's on the beach or if you're going to the mountains, or if like me, you're just staying home and gonna order some really good barbecue. Uh, but nonetheless, enjoy Labor Day. It is sort of our uh, segue into uh, the fall, uh, Atlanta, Atlanta style. All right. Well, let's see. Let's go ahead and get started. Again, welcome to Morning Prayer. Um, I'm Reverend Kenya, and you all know me. And if you don't, um, I, um, I've been at Holy Innocence now for almost um, the year anniversary will be coming up September 29th, and I am super excited about that. Hi, John. Um, morning prayer. Let's go ahead and get started. Our service begins this morning on page 78 in your Book of Common Prayer. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. We continue with the invitatory and the Psalter. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The mercy of the Lord is everlasting. Come, let us adore him. Together, let's say the Jubilate which is 
on page 82 in your Book of Common Prayer. So yeah, let's say the Jubilate together this morning. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. Such words of, of, of comfort, such just beautiful. Uh, our psalm for today is Psalm number 38. And it can be found on page 636 in your Book of Common Prayer. So our psalm for today is Psalm number 38. It can be found on page 636 in your Book of Common Prayer. Let's read Psalm number 38 together if you would like to, or you can just listen. Psalm number 38. O oh Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger. Do not punish me in your wrath. For your arrows have already pierced me, and your hand presses hard upon me. There is no health in my flesh because of your indignation. There is no soundness in my body because of my sin. For my inequities overwhelm me, like a heavy burden, they are too much for me to bear. My wounds stink and fester by reason of my foolishness. I am utterly bowed down and prostrate. I go about in mourning all the day long. My loins are filled with searing pain. There is no health in my body. I am utterly numb and crushed. I well because of the groaning of my heart. O Lord, you know all my desires, and my sighing is not hidden from you. My heart is pounding, my strength has failed me, and the brightness of my eyes is gone from me. My friends and companions draw back from my affliction. My neighbors stand afar off. Those who seek after my life lay snares for me. Those who strive to hurt me speak of my ruin and plot treachery all the day long. But I am like the deaf who do not hear, like those who are mute and do not open their mouths. I have become like one who does not hear and from whose mouths come no defense. For in you, O Lord, have I fixed my hope. You will answer me, O Lord, my God. For I said, do not let them rejoice at my expense, those who gloat over me when my foot slips. Truly, I am on the verge of falling, and my pain is always with me. I will confess my inequity and be sorry for my sin. Those who are my enemies without cause are mighty, and many in number are those who wrongfully hate me. Those who repay evil for good slander me because I follow the course that is right. O Lord, do not forsake me. Be not far from me, O my God. Make haste to help me, O Lord of my salvation. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Our first lesson appointed for this morning comes from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 12, verses 18 through 25. So our first lesson comes from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 12, verses 18 through 25.
A reading from the book of Acts. When morning came, there was no small commotion among the soldiers over what had become of Peter. When Herod had searched for him and could not find him, he examined the guards and ordered them to be put to death. Then he went down from Judea to Caesarea and stayed there. Now Herod was angry with the people of Tyre and Sidon. So they came to him in a body, and after winning over Blastus, the king's chamberlain, they asked for reconciliation because their country depended on the king's country for food. On an appointed day, Herod put on his royal robes, took his seat on the platform, and delivered a public address to them. The people kept shouting, the voice of a God and not of a mortal. And immediately, because he had not given the glory to God, an angel of the Lord struck him down and he was eaten by worms and died. But the word of God continued to advance and gain adherence. Then after completing their mission, Barnabas and Saul returned to Jerusalem and brought with them was Mark. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We continue with the um, first song of Isaiah, Canticle number nine, on page 86 in your Book of Common Prayer or in your leaflet. Canticle number nine, the first song of Isaiah, on page 86 in your Book of Common Prayer. Let's read this in unison. Surely it is God who saves me. I will trust in him and not be afraid. For the Lord is my stronghold and my sure defense, and he will be my savior. Therefore, you shall draw water with rejoicing from the springs of salvation. And on that day, you shall say, Give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make his deeds known among all peoples. See that they remember that his name is exalted. Sing the praises of the Lord, for he has done great things. And this is known in all the world. Cry aloud, inhabitants of Zion. Ring out your joy. For the great one in the midst of you is the Holy Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Gospel appointed for today comes from the Gospel of John, chapter 8, verses 33 through 40. I'm sorry. The Gospel for this morning comes from the Gospel of John, chapter 8 verses 47 through 59. Yes, that is the Gospel of John, chapter 8, verses 47 through 59. Please feel free to read along. Whoever is from God hears the words of God. The reason you do not hear them is that you are not from God. The Jews answered him, Are we not right in saying that you are a Samaritan and have a demon? Jesus answered, I do not have a demon, but I honor my father and you dishonor me. Yet I do not seek my own glory. There is one who seeks it, and he is. Very truly I tell you, whoever keeps my word will never see death. The Jews said to him, Now we know that you have a demon. Abraham died, and so did the prophets. Yet you say, Whoever keeps my word will never taste death. Are you greater than our father Abraham who died? The prophets also died? Who do you claim to be? Jesus answered, 
If I glorify myself, my glory is nothing. It is my Father who glorifies me. He of whom you say, he is our God, though you do not know him. But I know him. If I would say that I do not know him, I would be a liar like you. But I do know him, and I keep his word. Your ancestor Abraham rejoiced that he would see my day. He saw it and was glad. Then the Jews said to him, You are not yet fifty years old, and, have se and you have seen Abraham? Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, before Abraham was, I am. So they picked up stones to throw at him, but Jesus hid himself and went out of the temple. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In response to our gospel appointed for today, let's read together the song of Simeon. It's in your leaflet or on page 93 in your book of common prayer. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Well, this morning, I would just like to revisit for just a second for, for our, for our gospel, uh, with our gospel, yes. And um, a, a lot of things stand out to me within this, this gospel lesson. But uh, really what, what drew my attention over and over was this. Yet I do not seek my own glory. There is one who seeks it, and he is the judge. Very truly I tell you, whoever keeps my word will never see death. Whoever keeps my word. What exactly does that mean? Whoever keeps my word. How do we keep the word of, of God? For me, this is, this is a, a call to us and a reminder to be firm in our faith, right? Our, our faith um, is, is given to us by, by God. Uh, God assures us over and over again, God is faithful to us. But we also have to be confident even amidst the chaos and everything going on, that God is there. And we have to think about how we've experienced God and all the times in our lives when God has, has been there. We have to remember the word of God, God's imperatives, the things that we've heard about in the Old Testament, about walking humbly, about loving mercy, about doing justice. We have to think about our imperative in the New Testament, right? Love God with all our hearts, all our minds, all our spirits. Love our neighbors as, our, as we love ourselves. But keeping the word of God also requires that in some way, in whatever way that, that is for us, in some way we have to live into those words, right? Jesus, of course, is the, the perfect example in all that he did in his life in, in healing and comforting um, in, in teaching. But each of us also has the capacity, we have the capability of being doers of the word, of keeping the word of, of God. So a question for us all is, what does it mean to keep the word of God in our own lives? And if we're not sure about that, and many of us are not sure, and it also changes, ask God to reveal to us what it means to keep 
his word. So this week, if you want to take some time in your daily meditation and prayer and just ask God, God reveal to me what it means to keep your word. Amen. Together, let us pray the Apostles' Creed. It can be found on page 96 in your Book of Common Prayer and your leaflet. Together we pray. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let's now continue with our prayers, which can be found on page 97 in your Book of Common Prayer. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. We now pray our suffrages. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon all earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. We continue with our colleagues for today. And our first colleague um, is a colleague for self-dedication. And it can be found on page 61. I'm sorry, it can be found on page 832 in your Book of Common Prayer. It's the College for Self-Dedication, College number 61, which can be found on page 832 in your Book of Common Prayer. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, so draw our hearts to thee, so guide our minds, so fill our imaginations, so control our wills, that we may be wholly thine, utterly dedicated unto thee. And then use us, we pray thee, as thou wilt, and always to thy glory and the welfare of thy people. Through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Our next colleague this morning is the Collect for Renewal of Life. It can be found on page 8 of this booklet or in your Book of Common Prayer on page 100. Together let us pray the Collect for the Renewal of Life. O God, the King Eternal, whose light drives the day from the night 
and turns the shadow of death into the morning. Drive far from us all wrong desires. Incline our hearts to keep your law and guide our feet in the way of peace. That having done your will with cheerfulness during the day, we may, when night comes, rejoice to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our concluding collect for this morning is a collect for mission, which is on page 100 in your Book of Common Prayer, and it's also printed here in your leaflet. Together, let us pray. O oh God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold. Pour out your spirit upon all flesh and hasten the coming of your kingdom through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. A litany for these days. If you have your, your leaflet, please follow along and respond to the petitions with Graciously Hear Us. If you don't have a leaflet and you're just joining us, please respond to the petitions with Graciously Hear Us. Let us pray to the Lord, who is our refuge and stronghold, for the health and well-being of our nation, for those working on the front lines for our care, and for all who work in the service industry, that all who are fearful and anxious may be at peace and free from worry. Lord, in your mercy, graciously hear us. For the isolate, lady, and the housebound, that we may be alert to their needs and care for them in their vulnerability. Lord, in your mercy, graciously hear us. For our homes and families, our schools and young people, and in all, and all in any kind of need or distress, Lord, in your mercy, graciously hear us. For a blessing on our local community, that our neighbors may be places of trust and friendship where all are known and cared for. Lord, in your mercy, graciously hear us. We commend ourselves. Oh, now let's take um, just a moment before that and offer our own prayers and thanksgivings uh, to God, either silently aloud or in the, the chat space. We commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us pray together a general, the general thanksgiving, which is on page 101 in your Book of Common Prayer. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray Give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, 
to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all forevermore. Amen and amen. Wonderful, again, to be with you all this morning. Um, please make sure you join us for the rest of the week if you can. Um, Bill will be with you tomorrow, Ruth on Friday, and then on Sunday, um, I believe Bill is preaching and Buddy is, is celebrating. Um, as usual, we, we love you all and miss you all, and um, let's just keep holding up each other in prayer. Have a wonderful day and a blessed week, and uh, we will see each other all again soon. God bless you.